Hey guys, Orly Shani here from Hallmark Channel's Home and Family. I miss you all, hope everyone's doing really well. I am so excited to share today's DIY with you because I am doing no sew belts. Yeah, that's right. You heard me right. No sew belts that are completely custom to you and your body and your wardrobe. So whether you want it to be kind of like a wider corset style belt or a skinny belt, you decide the width that's most flattering for your body and you decide the fit. So if you want something that fits really snug right around your waist or kind of low and slouchy on your hips, all of those things are what you are in control of when you DIY. So I hope that you guys enjoy this project. If you have any questions, comment it down below. Uh, but in the meantime, let's get right into our material. So anytime that you're making something, it's always a good idea to look for something in your closet that's similar and see how they made it. So these are faux leather belts and I realize that they're not sewn at all. They're fused together with the seam in the back with some kind of adhesive, so a glue. So my belt, I knew I wanted it to be three inches wide, which meant that I needed it to be cut at six inches wide so that I could fold it in half. Now I had to figure out how long I wanted the belt. I wanted this one to function almost like a corset a little bit. So I cut it about four inches less than my measurement so I could pull it tight. And I am gonna put a little hook on the side that I can actually attach my straps to. So I just cut a long like one inch strip and cut those into about four inches. So it's a one by four inch strip. I'm adding a little fabric glue to the back side of it, laying it down on the inside and then folding it, giving myself like a little tab. It needs a second to dry, so just put something heavy on it so that the glue can cure and move on to the other one. Again, it's a one inch by about four inch piece. I add some glue to the back side and then to the inside and fold it over. Now we're adding a good amount of Fabri-Tac. You really want this glue to be able to fuse the whole belt together and you're gonna fold it in half. So you can see now, I'm just folding it into the center so that I've got a center seam and I'm weighing it down with a bunch of books so that the glue has time to evenly distribute. Got that center seam everything is laying nice and flat and it's ready to go and you can see there are the little suede ties that I added to it kids are home all the time it's kind of awesome all right let's move on to the next belt this one's gonna have a buckle on it so I took my measurement and I measured the buckle the width of the buckle is two inches wide so I needed my belt to be four inches wide that way when it folds in half it fits into that buckle perfectly one more thing on measurements you want to add about three inches to your waist measurement that way you have enough room to actually take the end of the belt and loop it around the belt buckle and secure it in place now you can see I'm just doing the exact same thing as I did on the other belt, we're adding a generous amount of Fabri-Tac. To either side, you're going to fold it in half with the center seam in the back. Now for this one, I tried doing it with clothespins to see if that was better. After having done both, I think the books are much better because they really flatten and fuse everything into what feels like a crisp belt. Now take that end, fold it in through the end of the loop, and you can see there, that's my one and a half inch overlap. If you're not wearing it super tight, you can get away with just doing fabric glue. If you want it really tight, I'd recommend a simple stitch and you could be done. I, however, wanted to add some studs. These are studs that go in by screwing them into place. So it's really easy to apply and gives a great finished look. And there's a screw that goes through the bottom and then the stud just twists right on top. Now you just kind of want to evenly distribute those studs so that they're even all the way through, tighten them a lot, and this guy is done. All right, we're gonna do one more super simple one. I took an old belt buckle that I had and measured the inside. It was a two inch opening, and for this belt, I decided not to fold it in half and double it. So this is just one simple two inch long piece that's the length of my fabric. To put it on the belt buckle, you know the deal, you go up over the center bar, back down, and then just secure it to itself on the other side. Again, if you're not wearing it super tight, a ton of fabric glue and just clamp it down, put some books on it and you're good. I did want that sort of V point that the end of belts have, so I folded it in half, put my ruler on an edge and just cut it. Now let's just see what these look like.
studs really do make it look quite professional if you ask me. Guys, I hope that you do this project. If you have any questions, comment them down below. I am here to answer your questions and help walk you through it. So don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, in the meantime, I hope that you'll stay tuned to all of Home and Family's social media pages. We're releasing brand new content, food, fashion, beauty, all that good stuff. Um, new exclusive content for you. So I hope that you're enjoying it. I hope that everyone's staying safe and well, and I can't wait to see you again very soon. Bye.